So video number three, I wanted to talk about the other materials. I already explained the kind of surfaces that I have uh, tried and that I have found work for me and what I want to do. So these are the tools that I use and first and foremost are these jelly plates. It's just a rubbery surface that you use to put your paint on and then press them on your surface. You can get them in all different sizes. Uh, this is a 4x6, 5x7. These are a little bit larger, 8x10 and 12x14. I found for what I'm doing right now and the way I'm doing it right now that I use mainly these two sizes because it's easy for me to then just take and move them around wherever I want them. So those are jelly printing plates. These are by Gel Press. So the other things, obviously I keep some brushes on hand and do brush work at the end, but for the pressing itself, I found that the liquid, more liquidy acrylic paint works better. Normally I paint with the heavy gel acrylics with the heavy medium in them, and I found for whatever reason those don't work well for the pressing. So these are just um, acrylic. They're actually probably the heavy gel paint because that's what I have mixed with some sort of medium slow dry blending medium and a little water as well um, to get them fairly liquidy. So that seems to work best. I also use a brayer. Once you put the paint on, I'll be showing you how you use the brayer. You can use different sizes, um, a knife. And then also I found it fun to use different stencils and things that can make impressions. This is just a fondant mold for cake decorating, a screen stencil, these are a new discovery for me and I really like those. Just your general traditional stencil. And then just stuff you can use anything really. This is this Lego and I have other things around that I could press into it. I could press circles into the paint, different things like that. So that as, long, as well as paper towel, water, and uh, obviously a place that you can clean up when you're done. I think that's it for supplies.